tour, you have heard lots of references to all join. All play is built on all join, and all play makes it easy for content providers and stereo equipment makers to provide consumers with a whole home audio experience, regardless of what brands you have making up your home audio system. And that is what Johan is going to share with you today. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the rec room. So all play is a whole home audio solution. It consists of three different pieces. The first one is a turnkey smart audio module and that's for OEMs who want to build connected speakers. The second piece is a set of cross-platform controller application and SDK for iOS and Android, and that's to enable smart devices like this one to be able to see the speakers and stream their content directly from the phone to the speaker. Finally, the last piece is what we call the AllPlay Click SDK. That's an SDK that's uh, targeted towards streaming services, the likes of Rhapsody or iHeartRadio, but really any kind of cloud streaming service. And what it does is extend their existing application with the ability to see the all-play speakers and stream their content directly from the cloud to the speakers. So let me go ahead and show you uh, a demo of all-play. So I will start by showing you the controller application on this Android device. So the first thing it does is show me the list of all the speakers in the house. So in this room, we've actually set up different speakers from different manufacturers. For example, in this corner back there, there's an audio adapter from Panasonic that's hooked up to speakers. Um, this is a wireless speaker from Medium. On my left, I have another pretty cool wireless speaker from Musaic. This painting on the wall is actually a pretty cool speaker as well from Soundwall. And finally, on the little table right there, there's another speaker uh, from Lenko. So I can go ahead and select any speaker. Um, for example, I'll start with the, the Soundwall one. Then I can go ahead and select any song on my phone. And if I hit the play button, it starts streaming content directly from my phone to the speaker. I can control the volume. I can go up and down. Um, and finally, since I have the, the Qualcomm Talk Watch, I can also control the streaming experience from my talk. So I just pause the stream. So this is one speaker. But with AllPlay, you can actually control multiple speakers. You could, for example, stream different content to different speakers at the same time. This is our multi-room capability. But what's even cooler is that you can group multiple speakers together. This is the party mode feature. And when you do that, you create a zone with multiple speakers that then uh, synchronize themselves and you can then stream content that's perfectly synchronized between multiple speakers. So let me go ahead and demonstrate this. So I will start by streaming on the sound wall, and now from my application, I can actually group. And for example, I will add the Panasonic and the Lenko to the group. So I do this by just selecting uh, check boxes, and it starts playing. So now it's kind of hard to hear where the sound is coming from, so what I'm gonna do is adjust the volume of each speaker one by one, so you can see that they're all in sync. Let me go ahead and start. This is the controller application on Android. We have the same one available on iOS, and we also have SDKs to enable um, OEMs to build their own controller application. Now let me quickly show you the Click SDK. So as I mentioned, the Click SDK is for streaming services. So the way it works is um, you take any streaming application, for example, this is a Rhapsody one. So the normal Rhapsody application allows you to stream content from the cloud to your phone. So nothing new here. What's new is that little um, icon right here. This is the All Play icon. This is the Click SDK. What it does is, from the Rhapsody application, I can now see the list of all the speakers in the house. And I can go ahead and select any speaker or group of speakers. And let me go ahead and do that. And that streams directly from Rhapsody Cloud to the speakers. I can control the volume directly from my phone. I can even pause the stream. So what happened in that case is actually it's streaming directly from the Rhapsody Cloud to the speakers. That means I could turn off my phone, walk away, it would keep on playing. And um, all that from the Rhapsody application. So this enables streaming services to stay in control of the user experience uh, and control that whole home audio experience directly from their application. We've announced already a few content partners, including Rhapsody, iHeartRadio, Double Twist, and a few others, and we'll keep on adding more content partners. Uh, finally, you will see all play speakers uh, coming to market this year, so including those uh, in this room. So that was a quick overview of all play. Now, before you leave the house, I'd like to show you one last thing. So now that I've equipped my house with all those very cool all play speakers, I don't want anybody to come in and steal them. 
So one way to protect your house is to use this device right here. This is the Canary. The Canary is a smart home security device. And what it does is monitor your house for potential intruders. So let me go ahead and start the Canary application on my phone. Um, you've already seen the LifeX light bulbs and the August smart lock. Let me show you how uh, all of those can interact with each other using Ultra. So let's imagine that um, I'm leaving the house. So for this, using the August application, I, I would lock the door. So when I do that, you heard a little, little tweet from the Canary device to let me know that the house is secure. So now if there's any movement in the house, um, which already happened because obviously the house is not empty, I receive an alert on my phone. I can pull it up, and in the final product, you will actually see a picture taken by the Canary of your house. That way you can see if it's just your cat that's missing around with you, or if it's really somebody trying to steal your office speakers. If that were the case, you could, of course, call the police directly from the app, but you could also try to scare him away. Uh, for example, let me trigger an alarm and let's see what happens. <laughs> so what happened here is that thanks to Altrim, uh, the Canary device was able to trigger the light behavior, the flashing of the light, um, that all play speaker to emit that sound, which is possible because all play uses all join. And this really shows you the power of all join. Those are products from different companies, different manufacturers. And because they all use all join, we're able to connect them very easily together and create that kind of very rich use cases and user experience. And inside the Qualcomm Connected Smart Home itself, you saw lots of smart products today. That's just the tip of the iceberg. So your dishwasher, your washing machine, your dryer, your coffee maker, all of these devices can be made just as smart as part of your smart home. Um, you know, Qualcomm is driving what we call that connected experience. And this experience started in smartphones and moved into tablets, and now is extending into many types of devices as you have seen here today. So if you have any questions, because we showed you a lot today, and you want more specifics, right outside of the home that we have our experts, they can help answer those questions. And I want to say thank you because you made us one of your first stops today. We do really appreciate and value your time. Thank you so much. Thank you.